Hello YouTubers, this is Rob from Shedley Wood and uh, you're looking at another layout of, uh, I've got uh, indoors which uh, very rarely used and I uh, thought to have it uh, out today for the first time in four years and um, yes I'm just, I uh, thought I'd share it, share it with you um, yeah this layout was um, built some time ago and originally this was going to be built in the living room which will go along go along the wall over there um, this is about uh, 11 foot long by 4 foot and um, at the moment I'm just testing out um, some of my locos including the Helgen class 16 and um, there's not much been done on this layout um, for the last uh, four years because I've been concentrating on other things including the shed railway and uh, this layout has not got a name yet so I might even start doing some work on it um, at some point in the future hopefully um, so this this layout actually where is a portable layout so this can be um, removed um, when not in use and put behind my living room door and um, because um, my flat hasn't got much uh, room at all so uh, that's why my other layout is in the shed anyway so um, so all I need to do when 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 I do uh, stop using it what we have to do is remove some of the buildings from the such as this engine shed uh, sorry good shed and um, put it in the box over there and uh, just just place it back it on there when when needed and uh, same goes with the station and I've got a few more other bits and pieces but I won't be take put them up put them on on there today so um, I'm just um, just I thought I'd just show you Rob's other layout so there you go this layout um, uh, in fact is an end-to-end -end layout so this is the um, terminus where um, a train that just comes in just the loco just runs around and um, and connect up to the rear of the train so on its return journey and um, then you got that the coal yard you got the engine uh, sorry the goods shed you got the cattle dock and loading bay as well and um, and you got the spur there and um, the, and then across here you got the uh, where you got um, we would that's where the uh, engine yard is going to be the engine shed I was going to put a turntable up here and um, whilst the the track is single as it's a single track layout it's a country to uh, country railway and uh, so far um, this end here would have gone under a bridge and into a fiddles yard however um, originally um, before I met my partner um, there were plans to build the layout along the one side of the wall in my living room and um, if I hadn't met my partner I would, this 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 uh, layout would have been completed including scenery and, and finer details and stuff like that but um, now that uh, circumstances have changed this won't not be happened so this is going to be just a portable layout and very likely that this would have been let out when I can't use the shed or or during the winter months so I'll, so I'll be like um, be running trains um, in during my spare time and uh, also the um, in the comforts of my own home so there anyway you go. so also the um, I would like to show you is, is also some new additions and this time these are uh, Christmas presents from my dear partner and uh, as you can see um, first of all I've got three new wagons um, I've got a Dapol uh, grain wagon I've got two of these um, these are weathered as well so and as well as the other one as well I bought another one of these as well and also the Backman's new uh, pipe wagon um, which uh, also came with the um, box um, it's a 12 ton pipe wagon be our box side late so I'll get that out soon 
and also I uh, bought some uh, books for these these for the point motors for Sheddy Wood Railway and penultimate is also the Hornby um, non corridor suburban coach uh, also added to my collection and finally is the brand new Hornby K1 class loco um, which is I'm really really pleased with it uh, I haven't got, had it tested out yet and um, as you can see it's uh, it's as you can see if the camera can focus properly um, it's R3243A BR late 260 class K1 locomotive uh, number 62027 yeah so I well, Hatton said that it will come out in February, but uh, I had a, but uh, it was a surprise that uh, it ca came came out two months early. So, so I haven't had it tested out on the lat yet. So I'll have it out of its box very soon. As you can see, the the uh, K1 Loco is now of its box, and just having a uh, a little review. Um, and uh, the the detail is pretty good, very good indeed. Uh, I don't know if you can see the uh, detail. It's not a very good camera, this, but um, but you can see the um, the print, you know, the signage and all that stuff. Um, yeah, uh, yes, yeah, so it's a very good loco. And uh, if you can see the front there, if you can see, um, yes, yeah, very nice loco indeed. Um, I'm really pleased with that. Um, so I'm gonna now I'm gonna test you out on the layout. Um, this one's really nice, really nice and smooth. I just set it, to, just moved it from that uh, siding over there. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move her. So she's running. I'm gonna set, gotta set the point. So she's moving very. So so got very slow moving. Sort of like, yeah, so she's runs very smoothly indeed. Now, so I'll speed her up a bit. Blended. It's a shame this is not a continuous run, so I could have it running around. But I'll have to test it on the layout um, probably another day. So I've got to do. I'm going to hook up with the uh, suburban coach, the suburban brake. Brilliant, excellent. Well, so far so good there. Uh, mm, I can't see any problems with it. She runs very smooth at low speed.
so far so good the uh, locomotive the K1 uh, seem to have no problems at all and um, as it's been a brand new locomotive and um, there's no derailments or any other issues with it but we haven't so yet tried on the other layout so far Anyway, thanks, thanks for um, watching my video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and um, and uh, happy New Year to all my subscribers. And uh, hopefully, I'll s hopefully you'll see my videos in the new year. So till then, I'll leave you with the K1 leaving with a two coat train to uh, wherever. So until then, bye bye for now. Bye.